A new invention at WPI is hoping to significantly reduce the number of ankle and knee injuries in young athletes. A team of engineers are developing a new shoe sole, which would absorb the impact normally taken by someone's leg. Our Cam Jandro joins us now live with those details. Cam? Anna, it seems like every day a professional athlete is going down with an ACL injury. Just think about here in New England the last decade or so, both Tom Brady and Julian Edelman losing complete seasons because of an ACL injury. But this invention could put a lot to, uh, could, could stop that. It's one of the most common injuries in all of sports, the dreaded ACL tear. If this is your upper leg, your thigh, and this is your lower leg, the ACL keeps the lower leg from moving forward. A team at Worcester Polytechnic Institute is designing a shoe sole in hopes of reducing non-contact knee and ankle injuries. Professor Christopher Brown noticed the high number of these injuries when he was a skier at the University of Vermont. He has been developing the sole for more than 10 years. As you're making your cut or whatever it was going to be that was, might cause the injury, you're going to keep pushing at the same load. The shoe's going to displace and absorb the energy that otherwise might have turned your ankle or torn your ACL. WPI senior Kyle Mudge is one of 11 students working alongside Brown. The school has already received an initial U.S. patent on the sole and $400,000 in support of the project. Much of my work here has been understanding how the components we design and how the overall product will influence not just the pieces of the body that we're trying to save, but the rest of the athlete at the same time. The Journal of Athletic Training reports the knee joint and ankle injuries are the most common in high school athletes. 43,000 were reported in a recent five-year study. Brown and Mudge are hoping to reduce those numbers. And it's billions of dollars a year that we're talking about. Uh, just in the medical costs without uh, thinking about um, you know, how tough it is on, on the athletes and their development. Now Brown says the goal is to create about 10 pairs or so and give them to players to try on a basketball court in early 2019.